Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Atua Moy, and I've been vlogging for about one year, and I've been on YouTube for about four years. And the most common question, the most popular question that I'm asked in the comments of my videos is, I'm a new vlogger, what kind of camera gear should I get? Can you give me some advice on what kind of camera I should get? So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk you through some really good ideas on camera gear or cameras that you could get for someone for Christmas. So I'm gonna be talking about a bunch of different cameras and I'm gonna start at talking about the cheapest things you could get for presents to the most expensive. So you're gonna wanna watch the whole video. Before we get into the camera gear, two of the most important things to me are that my camera has a flip screen as well as that it films in full HD, which is 1080p. A lot of people won't even watch a video if it's not in 1080 at least. First thing, a mobile. You can actually vlog and make videos with just a mobile device. Most mobile mobiles have a pretty good camera and decent audio, but the difficulty with a mobile is one, it doesn't have a flip screen, but also it's kind of hard to hold out. Like sometimes it's kind of shaky or you're not sure how you should hold it without getting your hand in front of the camera. So if you're whoever you're getting a present for already has a mobile, but they want to start vlogging and you're a little bit on a budget, good thing you could get is this, which is basically a clamp for your for devices. They have ones for every possible different device. Basically what this does is you can attach it to a tripod. So this clamp costs around five to fifteen dollars and this Manfrotto tripod costs about twenty dollars. What's cool about this is it's easier to vlog with. You can vlog this way or vlog this way. Also you can get really interesting shots because you can stand this up on the floor, you can stand this up next to you while you're eating. Really good present for someone that wants to start vlogging and it's rather cheap. Now if you're looking to spend a little bit more but you don't want to buy another camera, they have these gimbals which basically attach, clamp onto your phone and your phone is basically on this three axis gimbal. Really good for if you're running with your phone and vlogging and moving around a lot. It'll keep the phone completely pretty much stationary and very stable. Good for videos. And those cost around 150 to 200, 300 dollars. So a little bit more pricey. Next up, we have camcorders. These run for around 60 to 200 dollars. The cool thing about these is that the screen flips out and then it turns around. So as you can see with these, you now have a flip screen. The reason a flip screen is good, plus these shoot in full HD, most of them, 1080p. When you're holding it out and filming like so, you can look at the screen and frame your shot and make sure you have the right angle that you want. Make sure you're not like just filming at your chest or just filming at the sky. So that's a really good thing about a flip screen. These are probably one of the mo most versatile cameras that I have seen due to it has a flip screen. It has a pretty good zoom for the size. They're reasonably priced, not too expensive. It has built-in stabilization and full HD. So it's a pretty good deal. The only problem is it's not the most wide angle. So if you're holding it here, it's fairly zoomed into your face, just to keep in mind that. We actually grew our other channel up to about 20,000 subscribers with just a simple little camcorder. So pretty cool. Next up, we have the GoPros. This is the Hero 4 Silver, Hero 4 Black. These run for about $340, so a little bit more expensive. But these are very good all around cameras for a vlogger, considering they are waterproof, these ones when they're in their case. So I can take this in the rain, I can take this adventuring in the mud, I can take this surfing, I can take this swimming in the pools. You can take these pretty much everywhere and they're nearly indestructible. There is a newer model called the Hero 5 Black, has built-in stabilization and it has pretty good audio and you don't even need a case. But what's cool about these is you can vlog with them you do have to hold them a little closer to your face when you're vlogging. You can get a gimbal for these to make these a little bit more stable because they're sometimes a little shaky. But the downside to this is it doesn't have a flip screen, but that's okay because it's a bit of a wider angle. And also, these are probably not the best option for someone who's going to be filming and vlogging in their bedroom. These are not the best in low light, I must say. What's also cool about these is you can mount them to so many different things. They have all kinds of different attachments and mounts, so you can mount them to your head or your chest or your mouth or mount it to a car or a mountain bike. So that's a really cool thing about GoPros. And just to show you that you can vlog with just a GoPro, check this out. Hey guys, my name's Atua. Today I'm talking you guys through some really awesome Christmas gifts. Check it out. Next up we have the G7X. This is the G7X, about $600. And there is the G7X Mark II, which is about $650. This is probably the most 
popular and common vlogging camera you will see people with because it does shoot in 1080p. Also, it has a flip screen like that. Perfect for when you're vlogging, framing your shot. It has pretty good audio as long as you're not in really windy conditions. But if you are in windy conditions, you can actually make a little micro muff such as this one. I do have a video on how to do that. I'll leave that in the description. It is also very good in low light for the fact that it is such a small camera. It also has built-in stabilization. It has really good autofocus. And I must say it's probably one of the best all around cameras because it has really crisp, good quality video. I shoot loads of my videos on this little camera and a really good addition to this camera is the little tripod, which we talked about earlier because if you attach this to your G7X, then it becomes the ultimate vlogging camera because you can hold it out like that. Also, I can place this on get cool angles using this little tripod and I can get just the type of angle that I want. I can stand it up sideways and get a even shot. The Mark II does have a few little upgrades to the Mark I, this one, the first edition, but the first one is a very good camera and I know a lot of people would agree with that. Sony also makes a similar camera. I'm pretty sure the Sony RX100, there's like a Mark I, Mark II, Mark III, Mark IV, but those are a few hundred dollars. A little, They're a little bit more pricey. Now we are getting into DSLRs, which end up being a little bit more pricey. So first DSLR is this right here. This is a T5i. Canon e EOS Rebel T5i, very good camera. This runs for about $400. There is a T6i, which is about $750, a little bit more expensive, but that's just for the body. So a DSLR, you have the body, this is the body. So keep in mind that when you get a DSLR, you end up having to buy other accessories. So if you have just the body, you end up needing to also buy a lens to go on your DSLR. Without a lens, you are not filming anything. You place a lens on it, like so, and then you will have a DSLR which can shoot videos and take pictures. But these do not have the best audio. If you don't get a microphone for this, you basically have the just as good of audio as the G7X. But what's cool about DSLRs is you can plug in a microphone on the side. So you get a microphone such as this one, which is the Rode VideoMic Pro does use a battery. You take this, you plug it into the side, and then you have yourself a very professional vlogging setup. And what's cool about the T5i, T6i, the ones with the i, is it has a flip out screen like so. So you can vlog with this, but keep in mind that with a DSLR, DSLRs are a little bit more heavy because you have the body, the lens, the microphone, so good to keep that in mind. With any of these cameras, I would recommend to get a handle. It just makes it easier for vlogging. As you can see, it's much easier to hold this around, but for running around, taking all over the place, this is probably not the setup because it is rather big. This is probably better for if you're gonna have it on a tripod most of the time. This is a good setup, but most kids do not wanna run around with this. Sure, it's much easier to have a little G7X. Very big difference in size, but this does not bring a massive amount of better quality. You do kind of need to know how to use manual if you want to get the best footage you can with a DSLR. But the main purpose for a DSLR is you can have a microphone and you can have different lenses. So you could have a wider angle lens, a zoom lens, a telephoto lens, a macro lens. So that's a big benefit of a DSLR. Also, a really cool accessory to get is this, which is basically like a handheld stabilizer. These are about $20, but what's cool about this is you can mount a camera right in here. Also a microphone on the top if you'd like. But these are good for if you're filming skateboarding because you can get really low shots as well as cool angles. Handheld stabilizer thing. Next up we have the 70D. The 70D is about the same as this T5i. The 70D is about $900 and the 80D is about $1,100 I'm pretty sure but I'm actually using the 70D to film this video right now. So I will give you just a little shot like this so you can get a picture of what it looks like. On the bottom I have this Gorillapod, which is a very good tripod. These are around $100, I'm pretty sure. Then here is the 70D. 70D body, about 
around $900. And then this lens is a wide angle lens, which is around $500. And on top, I have another microphone, the same as the microphone, which is on the T5i. Now, if you want to get really serious and you're getting a present for someone who only wants the best of the best, there is a camera called a 5D Mark IV, which shoots in 4K and it is a full frame. That camera is rather expensive, $3,500, but it does shoot in 4K. And the screen does not flip out like this, like this one or the 70D, but you can get a separate monitor for it. But that camera, it's kind of big and some people use it for vlogging, but since the screen doesn't flip out, it is kind of a bit of a downside to a disadvantage. I'm going to quickly hit on drones. If you want to spend a little bit more money and get a drone, maybe you're getting a present for someone who already vlogs, already makes videos, but you want to take their videos to the next level. A drone can do that because you can then get aerial footage, which can really make videos very, very impressive. Get footage that looks like you have a helicopter flying around in the sky filming you. Some common drones are the DJI series. The Phantom 4 looks similar to this one, and then there's also DJI also makes one called a Mavic, which folds up into like this tiny little thing, which is very cool. Those both are around a thousand to a thousand to a, or a thousand to twelve hundred dollars around there. And then GoPro actually makes a drone called the Karma, and you can get that one for around eleven hundred dollars. But when you get that drone, it comes with a gimbal, the drone, and a GoPro. The Hero 4, the Hero 5 Black Edition. So that's a pretty cool combo. And if you want, the drone that I have is the Autel X Star Premium. This one is about $700. From all the times that I've used it, it seems to be just as good as the Phantoms from what I've seen and from what other people have said about it. And if you want to go all out and get all the camera gear that someone needs to make a YouTube channel, you could get a DSLR with a few different lenses, microphone. You could also get a GoPro for all the underwater and outdoing stuff shots and also get a drone and depending on which DSLRs and GoPros and drones you get, it will usually most likely end up being a couple thousand dollars. And one last thing is editing. You could have all this gear, but if you don't have a way to edit the footage that you have into a video for YouTube and upload it, it is kind of useless. So most mobile devices like iPhones, Androids, pretty much all of them, you can edit on them. And with most cameras, with the G7X, with the GoPros, as well as some of the DSLRs, such as the 70 and 80D, you can actually connect it to your phone and transfer videos onto your phone and edit the footage on your phone, which is pretty cool. But most of the time you're gonna to wanna to edit on a computer, maybe a laptop or a desktop. On Macs, you have iMovie, and then on PCs, you have Windows Movie Maker, so you don't have to worry about an editing software if you have a computer. Hopefully this helped you out, choosing a good, solid present for whoever you're getting a present for. I do have a video on how I acquired all of this gear, if you'd like to check that out in the description. I also made a page with all of this gear, if you'd like to check it out. All the prices that I said were from prices on Amazon, and you can find most of this gear at like Best Buy or Fry's or stores such as, sim similar to those. Remember to keep always doing awesome stuff. I will see you guys tomorrow, early in the morning. Merry Christmas!